In this video, we are going to look at the differential gene expression between groups. We will have a look at two different modules that are a useful first start. The first module is the module View a Gene in Groups, with which you can look at the expression patterns of one gene and that allows you to split up the samples in groups based on a track. The other module is called Differential Expression Between Groups. It finds the most significant differentially expressed genes between groups. So you will use the first module when you know which gene is interesting and when you want to look at the differing expression values directly. The second module can be used when you want to obtain a list of genes and for instance make a volcano plot or uh, find several pathways that are enriched in this list of genes. We will start with the more simple module, the view a gene in groups. You can just uh, add a gene here and click next. And then there's a track required that um, has the information of the group division that you want to apply. In this case, I'm interested in INSS track. I want to see if uh, staging has anything to do uh, with MIGN expression. So I click next. Here I could select uh, only a few of the stagings, but I actually want to see the expression in all of them. So I click next again. And as you see, uh, this kind of blob of expression uh, points for each sample one dot shows that uh, stage four, which you can find here, um, that there are more samples in stage four that show high expression of MIGN. Also, you see on top of the graph a uh, table that shows you the one-way analysis of variance results and uh, you see a p-value that uh, shows a quite significant uh, result. Furthermore, down here you could choose to um, show the dots on expression order, just such that you get a more neat graph, so to say. And um, you have all kind of choices underneath here uh, for adaptation that you can have a look at yourself. Um, from here also you could choose to uh, yeah, to choose a bar plot for um, representation or one plot that I actually like uh, quite a lot is the box plot with circles. And that gives you a, a nice uh, clear view, both of the samples that are in the group and uh, the statistics that go with the, their expression values. And you can um, also in this module color by track adjust settings and you have a quite neat overview. From here we go back to the main page to look at another module. When you are interested to find the genes that are most differentially expressed between groups, it might be a very tedious job to look at genes one by one. So in R2 you can find the module Find Differential Expression Between Groups and that will do a, a test to find the most significantly uh, differentially expressed genes for you. So you get this menu in between um, where you at least have to select a track uh, on which the division will be based, between which groups you are going to have a look. Uh, in our case, let's have a look at the MIGN amplification. So we get one group that, have, uh, that has a MIGN amplification, another group that doesn't have this amplification. And we are going to see which genes are differentially expressed uh, between these groups. Now you have here some other statistics that uh, might look quite intimidating, but let's have a quick a closer look. You can see that by default the p-value is selected for which we use the ANOVA test and where a threshold of 0.01 is set. That's to say that we want to find genes that are differentially expressed between our groups with a significance of 0.01 or smaller. Uh, also, you can see that we are using a correction for multiple testing, which is done with the false discovery rate, but other options are available as well. And um, sometimes if you don't find an immediate result with this uh, module, you might want to set less stringent uh, requirements. For instance, by just asking for the top uh, differentially expressed genes. So here you can fill in a number, say 20 or 100, and you get the top 100 uh, differentially expressed genes. Um, also, you could use the full chains, uh, but we 
will stay with the p-value. Here you can find different tests uh, that in different situations uh, could be useful. By default, the one-way ANOVA test is used, um, but alternatively, a brute force t-test can be used uh, on any combination of groups when the data is untransformed or log2 transformed. Uh, for uh, rank transformed data, a cross-call Wallace test is performed. And then you also have the option for a Lima test. But as I said, uh, here we stay with the default, the ANOVA test, and from there the p-value is um, obtained. Sometimes you might want to uh, set the p-value a bit higher uh, as a threshold, or even if your sample size is really, really small, you might want to turn off the uh, correction for multiple testing. Uh, but of course, be careful with that. And in our case, that is uh, certainly not helpful. So we stick with these settings and we just click Next. Uh, we keep uh, the selection of these two groups. So uh, one group that has no MIG-N amplification and one group that does have a MIG-N amplification. And we click Next. And here we see that uh, 2,492 combinations met our criteria. Also, we can see that multiple testing correction was applied um, and it, the results are limited to 1,500 rows. You can see here a scroll option, so you can just look through the list of genes and you can see that they are ordered by the p-value. If you just have a look at some of the top uh, differentially expressed genes. Let's take this one. We can click on any of these genes and what you then get is uh, the one gene view where there's a separation made between the two groups according to our track um, and we chose the MIG-N amplification and indeed you can see that here we find the no MIG-N amplified group and this is the Mic and amplified group and you can see from uh, the expression values in this group that they tend to be higher. Uh, we see here a p-value that is quite low so that gives us confidence that this is a significant result. And under here we can again adjust the plot to for instance box plot with circles or um, and that's also color by track for visual effect or good old uh, box plots and you have all the statistics there of this one gene. We still have the other windows open here so we are back at our result list. Um, furthermore you see here on the right hand side all kind of buttons. Mostly they, are, they connect you to other kind of analysis that take you with the data that you generated here, this gene list, you can perform further analysis on this gene list with these buttons that will be explained in the more advanced video on differential expression. The only thing that I will show right now is how to store this information. One option is to store your result as a gene category. That means that you can store it in R2 to use in different analysis later on. So if you click on uh, store as a gene category, which just means as a gene set, you will be asked to uh, put in a category name. Uh, there's always already a default name created for you. But let's say uh, your diff expression uh, make an amp. Here it is set to temporary, 24 hours. If you want to keep the analysis for longer, then you can just put it as a personal category and you can find it here on the right hand side. You can see a description of um, how this was generated and you can also choose uh, which groups to include. If you only want to include um, genes that are higher expressed in the MIG-N amplified uh, group then you should click this one if you want the other way that uh, only genes are included that are higher expressed in the non-amplified group, you choose this one. Um, and you can click next without checking any if you just want all the genes from your gene list that you just generate with the analysis. And you click next. Your category has been added. And now from now on, you can find it back 
uh, in user options, categories, and uh, manage categories. Here you can see the category that we just generated and that category is available in other analysis as well. Let's uh, click this away such that we come back to the list of differentially expressed genes from our previous analysis. And then you also have the option to uh, simply export your results by uh, choosing this button that says save current selection as text file. And as you can see, you he have here a normal text file that you can uh, store on your computer. This brings us back to the main result page of the module differential expression between groups. And in the next video with the advanced differential expression between groups, uh, you can find more explanation about the buttons on the right with which you can do further analysis uh, with the results that we obtained in this module. <music>